Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy, the kid you did it, coming at you with another Lego unboxing, another Lego review to where we can see what we get in this beautiful Lego Star Wars set, ages recommended 10 and above. It's set number 75255, Yoda, very plain and simple. It should have said Master Yoda because, I mean, come on, he's wearing, he's holding his, his lightsaber, really? I can understand if it was just Yoda. But anyways, I'm rambling on. It's part number is 71771. It's a great set. I haven't watched any mini unboxing videos on this. I thought this would be an actual fun set to get. I mean, it's retail price at $99 right now. And I thought it would be pretty fun to actually build this guy, you know? I mean, look at the eyes, you know, the the hair and the everything. And then plus we get a cool little plaque and a cool little minifigure to go along with this set. How about we get started? We're going to open this box up, this bad boy up right now. I still not have gotten me a mic stand. It's actually very hard to get one because of everything that's going on. A lot of the music stores are shut down. So I am looking. I am shopping for one. So, And everything that I see on Amazon is going to take like, like six months. Almost, no, I'm just playing May 16th, they said. So... As for as we see in the first, ah, oh, it's bended. No, no, the book, the book is actually bended. But there's your sticker for UCS, the plaque. There's Yoda. I started keeping my books to preserves. All I do is if there's the one sticker, I don't usually take the, this out anymore. I go to Legos.com. And or the brick instructions and a lot of other places that are out there that can actually help you, you know, and get the digitals. All right, let's dump this box real quick. I'm gonna adjust the camera just for a second. Let me see, so y'all can see the groundwork. And I think that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put the box on the ground for now because the box is very huge. So I'm going to show y'all. This is bag number 11. Bag number... Oh, I think I got a nice little bag number 1 right here. Bag number 1. Bam! Bag Bag number 5. Here's bag number 2. Get these poles. I guess that's for the lightsaber. I mean, that's pretty big, man. That's like a straw in those type deal. There's bag number 13. There's bag number 3. So, mind you, I have not seen any of an unboxing video on this, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I'm looking at. This is all pure reaction right now. I'm not staged or anything. I open all my boxes on camera to show y'all. Some of them I actually have watched. I'm not gonna lie. Why lie about it? So let's start spreading these bags out like that to where y'all can see what y'all are getting. I mean, it's 1,700 pieces. But this is not my biggest set anymore. My biggest set still so far is the little Batman UCS set. Which it was a very fun build. I highly recommend it. If you have time to do it, I recommend doing it. I was looking for bag four the whole time. I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'm going to set these up and then I'll be right back to where it doesn't go too. Alright, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to spread them all out nice and neat. Show y'all what y'all get in the UCS set of Yoda. I don't know if there's an UCS set or not. But... I mean, it's, it's, it should be an ultimate collector position because, I mean, he's not a play. You know, you can't really play with him or anything. But just, just play him and build him and have the fun with him. Have the time of your life. And you get that beautiful little sticker down there to wear. Yeah, I don't like bent it up books and stuff like that. This is a big book. I think it's almost the same as the Millennial Falcons or the, um... Well, I actually know the Millennium Falcon was pretty small. I've had bigger books than this. Well, 
we're gonna build this set I'm gonna come back I don't know how long this set is gonna take me I mean it is 1700 some sets actually take me a little bit less time but some sets take me more so whenever we do that get a like and a summary you know hit that if you're new here please please subscribe please no I'm just playing uh, but anyways check your boy out Kid and Yeti I'll be back sorry about that ladies and gentlemen I forgot to actually show y'all the book I showed y'all everything else as you can see I got everything back in the box in the box let's pull this up a little bit I'm trying to get the light the best way that I can actually know how to get it and yeah it's not studio quality I don't have an actual studio but I try to make it the best way that I can to where that y'all can actually see get the best quality of the pictures for those 4k television and 8k television all right let's check this book out ladies and gentlemen let's see what it gives us does it give us any information? No. There's the brick puller instructions. I don't know why they're trying to say that this is new. Look, there's your bags on how to build. Look, you're building the feed bag one. Yeah, head's the last part, huh? Cool, 12. Lightsaber. And then the last part, you get the Yoda and the, and the black. And it looks like a very simple. Let's check the thing. I haven't done that since one of my first videos to check the actually how many steps. Cool, look at that. Let's see what's our last final product of the step. What is the last step of this build? I think it's right here. 544 steps. You gotta build the little stand for Yoda. What do you know? Maybe it's not. Hold on, wait. Nope, it's not. They got another page that was stuck together sometimes. But it's 544. 547? Man, that's a lot. It's gonna take a little while to get to it. I just wanted to show you the book. I forgot to show you the book. I'm sorry about that. And I'll catch y'all once, once we're done. Hey everybody, what's going on? We're back with Lego Yoda, the UCS set of Yoda. Good, I tell you, good, yes. Well, we're done. I thought this was an amazing set. I'm going to show you all the plaque real quick, and then we're going to get into the actual, what I call the pizza resistance. You get your easy home unknown. I wish they'd give us more background. Maybe they might give us to us in the second season of Mandalorian. If you're liking the Mandalorian seasons, hit that thumbs up. For all you Lego Star Wars fanatics out there, here you go. Man, Luke Skywalker. 900 years old. Yoda was old. I wouldn't want to know what it's like to live to be 900. Could you imagine seeing what you would see? But, let's get right into it. I love the detail of the face. We're going to focus in on the face first. And then I'm going to take this lightsaber off because I really want to show you what the lightsaber looks like. I want to compare it. I got, a, I got a Yoda lightsaber toy right here to compare it to it. It's really good detail. I love how they, you build the ears. I love how you can turn the actual neck that it doesn't clamp down. These, the most difficult part was your side by your arms and that to build. Because not ever building something like this and then building all one color, it'll make you, uh, it'll make you go blind, man get to his eyes you can actually shape his eyes in a different way you can actually move these things right here you can actually move the eyebrows a little bit i wish they would have had more range to where you could give different facial expressions and stuff you go underneath right there and you can push that as well first of all we go to the back of the head real quick and then i'm going to show you all the rest of the detail of the body which I think is pretty cool. The toes fall off, so just be careful with moving him. That's why I'm picking him completely up and, and turning him slowly because 
they got a couple of parts on here especially this one right in here if you see where I'm pointing at right there that one pops it flies it flew on me a couple of times whenever I was putting this head together but I love the detail of the hair the ears I love the body I mean it doesn't really give you justice on the box art and you see his robe going all the way back comes all the way down like that like a Jedi robe should be they should have did a little bit darker tan for it I think it's a little bit darker I don't think it's this light in the actuality of it so that's the only complaint that I really got with it but I love it I mean for a hundred bucks it's a pretty cool display set oh see I told y'all his feet fall off very very easy very very easy they should have made it to where that it would be a little bit stuck out of this a little bit more to where and then it could just be the towel that I put down because that's what I build on I build on a towel I'll do a tutorial video on how I build pretty soon and break down everything and actually show y'all in that video so hit that thumbs up let me know if y'all want to see that if y'all made it this long into the video his little feet are pretty cool underneath he's hollow completely underneath you got these little tabs you're supposed to be able to slide them but he doesn't really slide too well and you, his fingers actually move this is the coolest part right here is the lightsaber part I want to show y'all the lightsaber I might have to disassemble them and reassemble them to show you all that but I mean it's awesome it's Yoda what you expect look I'm just gonna take his arm off real quick it's a lot easier to take the arm off I want to show y'all what the lightsaber look like give y'all a comparison a little bit because this is I think this is the most coolest feature of of building this besides being Yoda I need to put this thing I'll take this thing back off real quick I think it went like right here. I'm gonna check the book before I put it all back together and that. But I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Oh my lord. It's bad about having gloves when you don't have grips on them. I don't like to touch the complete product after I build it because I don't want it to get smudged up. This bends on you a little bit, so just be careful. Because I mean, it is a long tube inside there. But look at the detail of it. Look, there's the button to turn the lightsaber on. That's how it's whole held together, just like the host and that. I mean, they gave it a pretty great detail. I just thought you were just building it into his hand and you weren't going to see none of this. And then here's the actual lightsaber of a, like a replica version of it. And I mean, it's kind of comparison. I mean, to the original, to the real one. So, I mean, it's not... It's not bad though, you know. Not for what, not for what they did. I thought it was pretty cool. It's not totally 100% accurate, but it's Lego, so Legos is never gonna be totally 100% accurate. That's why we build Legos, is so that they're not. So okay, you're supposed to put it back, like right in here. Yeah, I think I got the black dot on the wrong side. Give me a second. I'm going to get the book out real quick and we're going to find out. I'm going to find out in about 45 seconds. All right, I'm already back. Already on the book. Already on the page. Yeah, let me look at it real quick. Nope, I had it on the wrong side. Right, right place, but wrong side. The book shows you. See? It's pretty easy to assemble him. Back five just took me a little while to do. I had to disassemble it. I kept coming up with extra parts and that, and that was the only struggle I had. 
but I'm an average builder though. I'm not a Lego master or anything like that. I'm not I'm not one of those guys, even though I did like the TV show. Thought it was cool. All right, his thumb has to go back down. Because if it doesn't go down, it can't go on the mop. It can't go back on the, uh, the build. So, so you push the thumbs like this. You put this finger back right in here like that. You can move the fingers up and down the joints in that on there. They made it to where you can move it. And look, it looks like it's actually gripping the actual handle. That's so cool. I love that feature. I love the detail of this feature. It's very exciting. It's very fun to build. Uh, I can't say very enough. I can't explain. There's no real words that you can actually say on how awesome this set really is. I don't usually use awesome to describe a set, so I'm kind of getting excited. I'm kind of wanting to go get Dio and just do Dio now just to see if it is because, I mean, the box, believe it or not, the pictures, the stuff, you can watch all the reviews you want, you can watch everything you want, but until you actually do it, and I mean, for $69, deal is not a bad price right now, so, but that's going to be it for this day video, like, like down below, leave me a comment, let me know how I did, um, subscribe, go check out my other videos, I just finally put it, I just finally put up the Lego Batman the mo the uh, the UCS set of the 1989 Lego Batman set. That one's complete. That one's completely on there. This one is complete as well as you see on this video. By the time this video comes out, I'll probably be moving on. But hit that like button and like I always keep saying, keep on building.